This is Elena Khan here, and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, um, this is Elena Khan here, and here's my another DIY project. Sorry I did not film the before, as I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But this is the final pro project. This is it's it what used to be a pants. And then I cut it up and made it into shorts. And I took out the, the inner lining here so it's exposed now. And it looks a lot better that way. It's more sexier actually. So that's the final product. Um, let me show you the back if I can. Okay, so that's the back hard to tell um, hello once again this is Elena Khan here and here's another DIY I did a few months ago but I didn't record the before but I will explain to you what it was it was a simple blazer what I did was I took off the arms and hemmed it and then um, and then what I did is I had these um, this this like chain thingy and I put that across the shoulder like this with glue e6000 glue and I had this um, lying around these um, little things um, so I thought you know why not let's just put this down down across the bottom all the way down and so it makes it look like an edgy edgy blazer you know like for an edgy look so this is the after sorry about the before like i said it was a simple blazer i just took off the arms and added these embellishments and comment down below um, if you would like to see more um more of these diy videos hello once again this is elena khan here and my next diy project is this simple shirt well, it's actually a dress. Uh, it has zippers on the side, which you can pull down and close them, or you can leave it open and, and put a skirt or something underneath of it, or pants. But that's the type of um, this shirt dress is. And at the top is so boring. This is where this is where the DIY is going to be. I'm going to do is embellish this area up here with some sequins and I'm going to show you what they are right now one second hi um okay so I'm back with the what I'm going to put I had this um this um things lying around I think it was a necklace but it broke and stuff so what I'm going to do is take this piece and stitch it here so it would be attached to the top part of the neck, so it kind of makes it look like a built-in necklace. So that's the plan. So I will show you once it's done. What I'm going to use is this and needle and thread because I want to make sure that it looks good. If it's completely perfect, then I can always use glue to glue it down. But right now, I just want to use needle and thread. Okay, so I will come back and show you the final product. So I'm back with the final project. I have attached this to the shirt. I left the bottom open because I wanted to let it be flowy so it looks good. But I attached it. I sewed it along the edge right here, as you can see. Now looking when you forward back, it looks nice because it just it ties all up with the, with the side zippers. Now it makes it look like really cool, really cool dress top. Okay, so that's all I did was this little thing and to make it look like amazing. Hi guys. Um, I forgot to do the before on this one, but this was just a plain long dress. Black, plain. Didn't have this detailing. I did this. So this is the DIY I did. I added these um, lace um yeah so i added that here and on here and then the back was too sheer so i added this um lace 
to give it a little bit more so you can't really see your underwear and stuff. So I added this to the back of it. So I gave it this like, you know, like a train kind of a thing going on the back and, and just the detailing in the front. So this was a simple DIY and I took a plain dress, long dress, made it a little bit more fancy. And now it's ready for the red carpet. I still gotta fix that little piece there. Other than that, it's actually pretty good. Guys, um, this is Elena Khan here, and I am doing something, another refashion DIY. Okay, so I have this um, blue underwear, and I had this blue shamir, like, you know, like this kind of material. So I'm gonna put this in the front of it and the back of it. Sides are gonna be open. Gonna be the sexy number for one of my sexy shoots that I work on, so I'm gonna finish doing that. Okay, guys, so I'm finally finished, and this is how it looks. That's how the side looks. It's this is part of the underwear, so this is like exposed. So the underwear has a cover in the front, again on the side, it goes all the way down, and the back. Like this. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a sexy number, so it's good for all those um, acting roles that I do where I'm playing, you know, anything sexy. So, and plus, yes, so I just made that. So, that, like I said, once again, my name is Elena Khan. I do small and simple DIYs and refashion ideas. If you like my stuff, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, and I will. Hey guys, so I'm starting a new DIY refashion project, making a skirt. So right now I'm just gluing down this lace all the way down to the skirt. And then once I put it together, I will show you the final result. Okay, so I finished the, the latest refashion DIY skirt. So this is how it looks. So this is the lace that I was gluing on. And it's open right here. So it goes all the way down. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, all the way down. I glued it because this glue should stay because it's not like, you know, if it doesn't, then I can just touch it up with a different glue. But other than that, um, then it's open on the sides like that. Open on the sides. And the back is just plain. So, like that. So basically, the whole idea of the skirt was like an Egyptian like an Egyptian skirt. So that's the kind of the idea of this skirt. But then again, it can be any, any kind of skirt that you can wear for any kind of cosplay or anything else. So um, that's it. Once again, my name is Elena Khan and if you like my short, simple DIYs, refashion ideas, please let me know down below and I would Love and subscribe, it will help my channel out. Hello guys, um, here was a DIY that actually was very simple, I already finished it. I, at the time, I was not thinking about recording anything, but I, it's a Chanel inspired look. So what I did was, um, I had this Chanel necklace and I attached it to the neck of this tweed. Um, dress it's a tweed dress it has like buttons down here you can close them or you can leave them open I think it looks nice when you leave it open so it's like a mini dress and and I thought this this since it you know tweed is like a Chanel kind of an idea so I thought that the necklace would just make it look more Chanel so that's what I did that's all I did was I attached it See from the back, I just sewed it in, not glued. I sewed it with hand and needle all the way and 
all the this was like that's how the necklace was that's how I bought it so and I sewed all the way so now that's all I had to do and it's perfect I don't even have to do anything else because it already looks Chanel has a zipper in the back so you can put it on and off and so sorry about the before before it wasn't really nothing it was a dress without the necklace and now it, I just attach the necklace this is a very simple DIY I like I do a lot of very simple DIYs that are easy to do and you just gotta like think out the box think outside the box and that's pretty much it and once again my name is Elena Khan if you like my uh, videos uh, my refashions and DIY ideas please subscribe like comment and let me know down below what you guys think and I'm gonna be bringing I'm gonna be doing hey guys um, I forgot again actually well technically I started this this project like a year ago so that time I wasn't really videotaping but I just like found it and started working on it so this used to be a legging the bottom part of the leggings and it was like a tie thing like that so what I did is I cut them like I cut the leggings and then attached it here with elastic and now I'm going to put this lace through those holes and my plan was to um, like that my plan was to put chains but I didn't find any so I am I might still do that once I find some chains but yeah so this is pretty much the final product like once the lace is put in um, so once the lace is done, then I will, you know, show you the final result. But, so that's what I did with this leggings. Okay, guys, I finally finished it. And, like, on the mannequin, it looks like that. Um, I think the lace is fine. I probably will leave it. So I don't, unless I find some chains. If I find chains, then I will put chains in there as well. But until then, this is fine. Um, I still got to hem the top a bit. And then it's just done. Yeah. The back is the same. So I'm going to just hem the top. And then I'm done. Okay. Once again, my name is Elena Khan. So that's that. And then these were the stuff I took off. The It was a hoodie before. So anyways, the jacket part is actually done. And com that's completed. Um, that part is completed. One second. And I, lo I love the back of it. It says Armani Exchange. And it's so nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The back... The jacket is fine you can wear it with anything and and then i have this skirt which i will have to fix i have to make it tighter and i have to hem the bottom so yeah that's pretty much it so that's my once the skirt is done then i will complete it complete my video um okay so what happened was um i forgot to do the before and um not really done anyways 100% so so this used to be a hoodie okay so it was a hoodie and um, this was the opposite this was attached over here up here it was attached here all around so what I'm gonna do with the bottom part is make it into a skirt like you can see um, it has pockets so that's good oh. And, and then the top part, just like this, the way it is, just to wear it like a jacket on top. And then it says Armani Exchange at the bottom. Oops, the skirt fell off. Oh, well. Anyways, and then I took the collars off from here. Took the collars off from here. Took these um, hoodie things off here. Gives it a nice, like, fuchsia red um, highlight. Um, my ring light stopped working, so I have to, like, figure out how to get a new bulb. Anyways, and the skirt fell on the floor. <laughs> okay, I have to like um, hem the skirt still. Um, okay, hi guys. Um, I have another one that I'm gonna work on at the same time. So I have this long skirt. 
It's actually too long for me. And I just don't like it because when I pull it up and make it um, high-waisted, this goes all the way up. And then it's too revealing. So because of that, if it lands right here, if I wasn't that tall, I mean, if I wasn't that short, then this one will be fine right at the waist. But since I'm not, so what I'm going to do is make it into um, above the knee, like above the knee to skirt. So maybe crop it here, you know, and make it above the knee. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, above the knee so it has a little bit of opening. And then this will be just like, you know, mid-range or whatever. So that's that, that's a quick fix. That's like a quick DIY and it's easy. So all I do is cut it, hem it, and I'm done with that one. And I will show you the final results, of course. But Okay, so I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back with the final result. The long skirt, I have cut it and made it into a short skirt. And it was pretty easy. I just cut the bottom and you know what? I hemmed it with just some glue, hot glue gun. It's holding and it looks fine. And I don't even need to sew it. I was gonna sew it, but if it if it if it comes open, whatever, then I'll sew it. But most likely I won't be I won't have to worry about it. And it's perfect for my business look when I work on sets and sometimes you need you're booked as a lawyer or whatever and a businessy and then this skirt is going to be perfect for that business look so that's perfect 2020 is going to be my year okay and once again if you like my um, fashions and refashions and diys i know they're simple ones but you know what i make something that i don't use into something i use now i can actually wear it and it's going to come in handy a lot and subscribes whatever do help my channel to get recognized the more I get the more my channel will be recognized and the more people will see my my fashions refashions designs you know what I mean like the more people will get to see it so it will help my channel out and I'm a small youtuber and I'm still learning the ropes so um, thank you for tuning in thank you for watching it really means a lot to me and um, have a great day, YouTube.